So y'all have the medication? I'm going to show y'all the medications that I have. And, you know, I might Google and tell y'all exactly what they're for. But I'm so scared to even take the, the depression shit because that shit have... What's poppin' you guys? It's your girl Queen and I am back with another video. So as you guys already know, I am on this journey to no drinking, completely no drinking getting over depression and everything y'all it was so hard for me and i'm being so honest it's still so hard for me to actually get out and go do stuff i really don't be wanting to go nowhere i just want to stay at home and mind my business yeah so i literally do not be wanting to go nowhere and i'm literally just trying to pull myself out of that mindset out of that mindset now mind y'all i'm not depressed i've been working out i'm in a great 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 mood but I just still don't be feeling like wanting to do nothing. I just be wanting to work out, do my workout, do my uh, therapy online, and then lay down for the rest of the day. But that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna be productive. We have been productive. I've been doing videos on top of videos, content on top of, on top of content, especially for my son, Honor. So I'm very, very, very proud of myself. So y'all, I did tell y'all that I was going to the doctor so that I can get my medication to stop drinking. We're also gonna be talking about the depression medicine, which I haven't taken yet, but we're gonna get into that. But y'all, I was supposed to be taking my medication. I took my, I, first of all, I ate. I ate something, I made sure I ate. I'm not that dumb, not not to, to take some medication and not eat. Y'all, I ate and I wanna say like, I waited five minutes for my food to digest. I went to take the meds and a little bit later, I felt so sick. Like, I felt so nauseous. I could barely, like, do anything. Thank God my auntie was there and Andrew was there to um to do stuff for Arna because, like, my stomach was literally wheezy. Like, I did not eat. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, I mean, did I wait too long? But I didn't think I... Five minutes? <laughs> It's like my food, I don't know. It was like I didn't eat or something. So I'm I'm thinking with that medicine, I need to take it while I'm eating. I think it would be better if I do it like that. I need to put something on my lips. But I think it would be better if I like actually take my, take my meds while I eat. So I'm also on depression meds. I'm gonna show y'all my prescription i already showed y'all the prescription for me to stop drinking not stop well to help me to help me slow down on drinking but i haven't drank at all so i'm going to show y'all that med medication and i just got my medication in for my antidepressant so i'm also going to show y'all that too as well just in case if somebody you know wants to do this journey with me i've been telling y'all that i'm putting y'all in my business yeah, I'm putting y'all in my business, so, yeah. But, yeah, that's really all I wanted to talk about. This is probably going to be a very, very, very short video. But I just wanted to update y'all and let you guys know, if you have been going through depression, if you're trying to get over an addiction you're, wor you're working towards uh, completely getting rid of, just know, if you have been in an isolation state and you have isolated yourself for a long time, not like not wanting to go nowhere not wanting to get out not wanting to do your hair not wanting to make up your bed not even wanting to shower whatever it may be um it's still hard even when you're over like the depressive state and sometimes i'm still in and out of it sometimes i'll catch myself like having like a, a feeling of trying to depression trying to sneak in and i'll get up and i'll go do something just like i'm up right now about to go do content for me and honor let me get up and go do some content you know so i can get myself out of the state of mind and be productive because girl why is you why depression y'all need to leave me alone I, I don't i don't i don't know what it be stuff be trying to creep up on me sadness and shit and i'm just like 
leave me alone like leave me alone i'm doing good i'm working out i'm focused i'm getting my homework actually done and done on time i'm not having to catch up two three four five weeks like i'm actually doing a damn thing and y'all forgive my trunk it's rattling it has a whole bunch of stuff in it that i really need to go ahead and take out now and on this big ass stroller in there but um yeah y'all so just be aware that you know you're going things do get better for sure but it's going to be times where your old feelings kind of try to creep up back on you so the the thing is and my therapist told me sometimes you have to you have to trick depression <laughs> Sometimes you have to trick it because you basically you just want to stay on top of it. You want to beat it before it tries to beat you. So when you start feeling those little, ugh, or when you don't feel like going to go work out, just do, uh, when when you really, really, really don't feel like doing the workout, go and, and just tell yourself, okay, I'm just going to do 10 minutes. I'm just going to do this. When you get there, you're probably going to do way more than that. But at least you got up and you, you know, you got to it. So whether you went ahead and did only the 10 minutes or you went in there and did two hours um it's better to try to beat it before it beats you i don't know how to really explain that but yeah just try to catch it before it catch your ass yeah but i'm gonna show y'all the medications that i take when i get to the house i gotta go ahead and get ready to do our stuff he every video he does this when i get on the phone he be thinking that I'm talking to somebody and he wants to talk to y'all. Hey, say hey. Say what's up. Say what's up, dude. Like, don't be wanting, don't be wanting nobody to be great. But yeah, y'all, y'all got this. When I get to the house, like I said, I'm going to show y'all the medications. I'm gonna show y'all the medications that I have and you know I might Google and tell y'all exactly what they're for. But I'm so scared to even take them the depression shit because that shit have my stomach hurt. I haven't even taken I haven't taken the withdrawal medication anymore. Cause that it really it hurt it had it had me so scared and so nervous to even take the damn medication because I'm like, I hope, like, is everything okay with my body? Like, am I about to faint? Am I about to pass out? Like, it really, like, my stomach was hurting so bad. I had to go and sleep it off like it was a hangover or something. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, damn, my auntie came in there like, are you okay? I'm like, I hope I am because why am I, like, I'm so queasy. And it felt like, it felt like I needed to throw up. I didn't even want to eat nothing because I was scared like I might throw it up. I'm just like, oh my God, it was too much going on. But yeah, y'all, I love y'all. Y'all make sure y'all stay on top of your depression. Just know it is okay to let somebody know that you need help. It's never too late to start over. It's never too late to get over your addiction. And yeah, I'll see y'all when we get to the house so I can show y'all this medication. All right, you guys, so this is the prescription that I am now prescribed. This is for my mood, for depression, all that stuff. I am going to get closer so you guys can see the actual name of it. Um, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys these, these prescriptions just in case you are struggling with depression, you're struggling with mood changes, mood swings, or anything like that, and you want to get some help. Maybe you can ask your doctor if maybe you can try these out as well. I'm putting y'all in my business, so here we go. Here's another prescription. This one is for alcohol, my alcohol consumption. So this doesn't help me completely stop drinking, which it was solely on me to pick not drinking at all. I have not drank in, I think, 40, 40 days, maybe 45 days now. So I am doing tremendously well. Like I said, this doesn't help you completely stop, but it helps to minimize your cravings for alcohol. So, um, yeah, y'all, this is the one that was hurting my stomach completely. Now I'm completely scared to take these meds, but I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it out again, probably tomorrow morning. I'm doing good today, so 
I'm going to try it out tomorrow morning both and I will do some more updates. I hope you guys like this type of content and I hope you guys love this. Peace!